Hey, what up? It's Ty1822 here to review WWE Monday Night Raw. So Raw opens up with the champion CM Punk talking about his match last night against Rob Beck. You know, he was like, you were wrong. You were wrong like Edge did a couple years ago. But Punk ain't do it good as Edge did, did it years ago. He was breaking up, you know, the, ref the referee. It wasn't his fault. The referee did that on his own. He was breaking up how, you know, he defeated guys like Randy Orton and, and John Cena. So Mick Foley comes out and says, CM Punk, what you did last night at the Hell in a Cell, that's not traditional when it comes to the Hell in a Cell match. Punk was saying, hey, Mick Foley, the shit you, you done in your career, that wasn't traditional to the superstar from back in the day. So he said, speaking of traditional, you know what? Last year, I won the WWE title at Survivor Series. It's my anniversary. So let's do a traditional 5-on-5 five -five Survivor Series match. And I was happy about this because now... And making it seem very important with CM Punk. So this was a, a, a good segment right here. Um, but Ryback comes out, you know, he scares off CM Punk. He has a match with JTG. Of course, Ryback squats his JTG. Wade Barrett versus Randy Orton. This was a good match right here. Randy Orton gets the victory. Team Hell No, Daniel Bryan and Kane versus the Primetime Players. This was an okay match right here. Team Hell No gets the victory. Daniel Bryan defeats Darren Young by the uh the no lock. Vicky and John Cena, you know, had a little segment because, you know, Vicky talking about this affair with John Cena and AJ Lee. So she showed like pictures of AJ Lee and John Cena at dinner, you know, John Cena with merch on. I mean, come on. WWE act like if you take Cena out of his merch, you you ain't gonna notice a guy. I mean goddamn WWE he always in his merch every goddamn time. Even when they don't sound like him and AJ Lee go out on a date, he's still wearing his merch. I don't get it, WWE. So, the scene was like, I told the world that, yes, we went out to dinner. So, they showed a video clip of AJ Lee and the scene of coming out the elevator. Then she went into uh, John Cena Hotel. Dolph Ziggler came out. About to talk shit to John Cena. John Cena got to his face and said, hey, don't you ever mention me and AJ Lee in the same sentence. Antonio Zanzaro versus Kofi Kingston, champion versus champion. Championships not on the line, though. Um, shit, hold up. What happened to this match anyway? <laughs> hold up, what happened? Hold up. Let me look at my goddamn thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a D, um, it was a DQ. Um, shit, hold up, what happened? God damn it. Hold up, it was a DQ. Who cost it? Oh, oh who, who, who cost it? Who cost it? Who cost it? Who cost the DQ? Oh, yeah. The Miz cost the DQ. So, um, shit. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Antonio Zazaro and, um, the Miz was, you know, beating down Kobe Kingston. Our troop made the save. I just forgot what the hell happened in this goddamn, <laughs> um, part on Monday Night Raw. But I, I remember now. It took some time, you know, to remember that shit, what happened. Zack Ryder and C C Tina Morella versus the three band man three man band get the victory. You know this little three man band stable. Ginger Mahal looks out of place in this goddamn stable. If they had um, Kurt Hawkins in it, I like it a lot better. I like uh, McIntyre and uh, Heath Slater in this you know little stable, but Ginger Mahal, hell no, he sucks in this goddamn stable. I wish Kurt Hawkins was in this stable. So Vicky Guerrero, you know, hired AJ Lee. Hired AJ Lee earlier, so she made a match between AJ Lee and Beth Phoenix. AJ Lee defeated Beth Phoenix, but then Vicky said, "I got to see more." So Beth attacked AJ Lee. Vicky restarted the match. Beth Phoenix get the victory. So then Beth Phoenix was talking to Vicky Guerrero, and Vicky was disappointed, you know, at Beth Phoenix. So Vicky Guerrero decided to fire Beth Phoenix. So this is how WWE writes off Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix had, you know, a, a good career in the WWE, but they could have done a lot more with her. But, you know, she's a great talent. Don't expect her to go to TNA because, you know, the rumors are that she's completely done with professional wrestling. Sheamus and the Big Show had a segment. You know, it was cool right here. Sheamus talking about, you know, his match against the Big Show. And, you know, he's going to get the rematch. And Big Show was talking shit to Sheamus. And Sheamus hit the white noise move on her. Very impressive. The white noise, you know, on a big show. You know, I'm not shocked about, you know, people doing moves on uh, on a big show. Like, you know, because you always see John Cena do the attitude adjustment. But when you see somebody else do it, 
you'd be like, okay, that was cool right there. And he did it last night at the Hell in the Cell match. And, you know, Big Show, Sheamus, I like this feud right here, man. Two big guys. I never thought I would ever say that, like, two big guys had a good match last night at a pit review. And I am enjoying the feud. Just like I enjoy um, Mark Harry and, um, and Big Show. So, you know, the Big Show, when he go against guys who are big and not small, it been actually a good feud. I can't stand when Big Show go against these smaller guys and the feud never means shit because Big Show never goes over. You know, when he go against bigger guys, it'll be back and forth, back and forth, and they're always going to be entertaining. So, shame is the Big Show. I can't wait to see the next match, and it should be really good. Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara versus the Rose Scholars, Cody Rose and Damian Sendow. This was a really good tag team match right here. It got about at least 12 minutes of great action. Rose Scholars get the victory, man. It's it been a lot of tag team matches tonight. I'm glad WWE put it on a lot of tag team matches. Alberto Del Rio squashes Justin Gabriel. It's the same old formula with this guy. When Alberto Del Rio loses a pair of you match, he squashes a jobber. Same old goddamn shit, WWE. So it comes to this now. Mick Foley and CL Punk. Paul Heyman announced CL Punk team for Survivor Series. The team is The Miz, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sundown, and Alberto Del Rio. Now, I, I was predicting, you know, the teams for Punk. I was just wrong on one, and that was just Del Rio. I had Dolph Ziggler in it. But God damn it, I was so damn close. Team Foley will be Kofi Kingston, Kang, Daniel Bryan, and Randy Orton. So Punk was talking to Mick Foley. like, okay, Mick, you're going to be the weak link. Mick t told CM Punk, I am not a part of this match. I will be outside to watch the match. He announced that Ryback is the fifth guy on this team. They all had a brawl. Ryback stared at CM Punk. Out of nowhere, Cody Rhodes jumps in the ring like a dumbass, and Ryback gives him the shell shot, and, you know, Ryback doing a feed me more chant with the crowd. This crowd love Ryback. And, you know, earlier, he did get on the microphone. Not bad. Not bad, Ryback. But, you know, he only has to say a few words, and that's what WWE should always do. Give him a few words. A lot of people say, don't let him talk at all, but just give him a few words. I mean, nobody expect him to be the rock on a microphone. But WWE Raw, you know, it was an okay show. I really enjoyed the tag team matches tonight on Monday Night Raw. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I am out. Peace.